Hey guys, welcome back to Real Huntsman, and this is another fly tying episode. So today for the fly tying episode, we will be tying the double barrel popper. And today what I've decided what I'm gonna do is more of a natural color. So we're gonna be using uh, a green color for this double barrel popper. And this is just the medium size. Or right, so let's get started into it and uh, let's just get to tying. Okay guys, so like I was saying, today we are going to be tying the double barrel green medium size popper um and so what we like to start off with uh man i'm super pumped about this this is gonna be a fun one what i like to start off with is basically you get the end of the hook where i have to use just the end of this and just go ahead and we're just gonna go and poke a hole through it and you want to try and get it as even as possible right down the middle precisely like that y'all that is a good looking one so we'll go and kind of weave it on out make that hole a little bit bigger it makes it easier to put that hook through and the hook we're using today y'all this is a size 2 mustad hook um usually you want to use a stinger hook but they were out of stock for it and so i decided uh, i was looking at the hooks and i decided i really like this one this one would work with the application that we're doing today um, and so that's what we're going with. And so we're going to go ahead and take this foam out now that we went and got it all nice and set up. Basically, we're just going to work our way on to getting that on there. It can be a little difficult because usually there's an actual tool you can use. Perfect. So kind of looking like that, looking nice and fresh. Gotta get some of my tools real quick, but we're gonna adjust our vise here. All right, there we go. We got all nice and tight. It will not move right on there, but let me go ahead and show you what we are tying today, y'all. I've already got one tied on here. Like I said, a little bit of this natural pattern. It's, this one is super simple. We're going with just a natural little, let's see what the actual color of it, two-tone rabbit strip, black and olive zonker with a little bit of black marabou on it. And then underneath, we got a little bit of dubbing. And that dubbing is this one right here. This dubbing just... Uh, this is just your normal little red squirrel, little thorax looking. I liked it because it was natural, but it added a little bit of flash to it, as y'all can probably see in the camera right now. So that's what we're that's what we're dealing with. So we're gonna go ahead and get into tying it, y'all. First step is make sure you have right thread. This is 140 denier thread, black color. So we're gonna go ahead and do this first. We're gonna do start off with our knot we go a couple times forward and then a couple times back and i like to just keep working my way back and basically you stop almost right at the mouth of the frog of, of the popper make sure that popper's back like that and uh, i don't actually like to make it perfect and the reason why is because right here what we're going to do is we're going to put on glue and with it being imperfect like that it makes it kind of uneven and it makes it to where just better grooves for that that popper to kind of stick on to. So, and uh, basically we're just using Zappa Gap. Oh my gosh, y'all know what I forgot to do, y'all? I forgot to whip finish. So make sure y'all whip finish too. Got to work fast here. Before it dries on me. Dang it. Y'all, it's already dried. Ah, oh, dang it. We might have to start over, y'all. Okay. So, now that we got it wet finished, we got it tied up. Looking all nice and pretty. We're gonna, we put it right back forward. And, uh, keep it all nice in there. And I like to sit for a minute, let it dry up. And, um, let that zap gap really heal on there. So, now that we got that all set up and done, what we got first, we got to once again go forward. We got to start our line back up here. And 
and work our way back. So I like working my way. Honestly, it's about right there. That's where I like going. I might go a little further. But cut that little end, that little tag off. And then maybe go one step further back. So what we're then going to do first is we're going to grab this uh, black and olive rabbit. Grab it out. Pull it out of the bag. Find that one strip that I have already cut off. And we're going to find the length. So about right there. And I'm kind of liking that length. Uh, that's a good little length. So I'll go. What I'll do first is just to be safe. I like to go and actually tie it on first. Um, and I'll grab my tool here. And this just kind of helps me separate it. So then we're gonna do a couple of nice little knots right here. Just kind of get it sat up on there, fix it up. And then we're gonna kind of twist it a little bit towards us. Fix those hairs. Really want it nice and perfect. Fix those hairs, cinch it down, do one more tight cinch right there, perfect. And do a couple back right there like that. Okay y'all, and then what is next? We're gonna grab, go ahead and grab our dubbing here. And we're going to dub the line. And so just make sure you get a little small, thin little strip of dubbing. Um, you know, you don't wanna overdo it. You can always put more on, so. I'm really not dubbing that much, you know, really just this body. Um, and I just like to do that because like I'm saying, I'm keeping it simple, but I'm getting something on that body to make it kind of stand out at the same time. So. So that's a good little bit right there. Probably didn't add quite enough. So it's gonna be a little bit of a skinnier fly, but that's okay, that is a-okay. But as you can see, it just kind of breaks up that black line and it, it just kind of puts a little bit more texture to the fly and it, it gives it a little bit more, uh, just an appealing look. So we're gonna go ahead and put that zonker strip down forward and I made sure to leave a little bit of a gap so y'all can see here just a tiny tiny gap between this zonker strip and the actual base of the fly and you'll see in a minute why I did that but we're gonna go ahead and hold that zonker strip down tight right there and we're gonna tie that front end on perfect I'm gonna get that down So it'll look kind of like that. And from the bottom, you'd be able to see the belly. And then as well as, you know, in here on this one, I, I put a little bit more on. Um, right. I put a little bit more on, um, but it's really up to you. Um, I kind of liked it that thin amount. But, so we now have that all done. We are only, pretty much just have one step left, y'all. Like I said, this is a pretty simple fly. Uh, it should not take long to do it at all, but we'll go ahead and we'll grab some marabou, some black marabou. So what I kind of like to do, I don't like to use the whole thing actually, y'all. So um, because and the uh, the reason why is because it doesn't need a whole lot. As you can look at this fly, there's already quite a bit of feathers, and I like to do this rabbit zonker strip. Um, because it's a little bit heavier than just your normal hackle. And so it kind of lets it sit down a little bit more in the water. 
which allows that nose and that tip to go up some from that water. And so when you're popping it, it's giving it a bigger popping action when it's like this than when it's like this. Um, so doing that zonker strip, and it also has great action behind it, but doing that zonker strip with this nice marabou on the top uh, is just absolutely killer. And the reason why I think it's so killer, so hold on, let me first show y'all, actually, I'll just grab a bit of the stem here, and I'm just grabbing like, you know, half of it. Uh, half here and just like that might honestly do a little bit more though it doesn't need it actually but I'm grabbing half the stem here and I'm kind of like this pattern so what I'll do first actually y'all is I want when you lay it down you want to put the marabou forward like this First, cut off all that grossness right there. We don't want that. We don't want that at all. We want it to look nice and pretty on the fly. And we are going to tie some of this marabou down on here. And then we're gonna pull it back and we're gonna tie it again. And bam. And, and the reason I like doing that is because it adds that marabou allows it to kind of pop up uh, rather than just laying flat down. So that's pretty much it. And the reason why I like I said like no the reason like I said why I like doing this fly and why I like doing it this color is because there's this a couple lakes I fish at that are really, really clear lakes. And so this has a very um, just natural look to it. Um, you know, and lakes are tend to be clear for bass, they become a lot darker. And so you got that dark greenish brown look to it with a nice, almost black back. Um, and so basically we'll come up here. And so seeing that marabou stops kind of right there, we'll come over here, kind of pull it out. And we'll just slightly give the zonker strip a little bit extra length. Uh, if I can get it, there we go. Perfect. And that is pretty much it. The last step, as y'all know, is I've yet to figure out how to whip finish this. I can't do it. For whatever reason, my line gets caught up. So I just go and I do a couple knots on it. And, uh, you know, it works out pretty well. So uh, this is actually how I used to do it rather than a whip finish. I used to tie my knots, but man, this, this pattern is just killer, y'all. It is just absolutely killer. And I'll show y'all a couple other patterns in case y'all are wondering. And um, I can do videos over those too, but I like this one. Really natural, uh, great you know, end of summer, early fall time bass. We cut that off, cut a little bit more of that. Get a little bit of <clears throat> head cement. Dip that on there and just come up from the belly. Come up on top. And if you choose, you can go ahead and decorate your frog, which I will actually. Remember y'all, the bass don't see the top of the frog. That's something you always got to remember. So whether you want to keep it plain, it's more for just decoration, the top of the frog. Uh, so this one I did speckled and I kept it plain at the bottom. For this one, I did um, dots on it and then just kind of did whatever pattern on top. But this one, I think I might do, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but that's pretty much it to this fly. It's sitting here. We're gonna make it look nice and pretty though. First, before we leave, draw some eyes on it. And perfect, just like that. So some other patterns I've tied as well. I'll go ahead and show y'all those. <clears throat> so my first one I ever tied, which is pretty interesting, I think. Uh, it's definitely unusual, I think. Um, I've got, sorry, excuse me. <clears throat> I've got two uh, little, here I'll put on this vise here for y'all. I've got two little zonker strips on each side acting as kind of like legs with 
some Flashabo. I've got some green uh, Flashabo somewhere up there. Um, uh, giving in a little bit of sparkle with some more Marabou on the back end, like y'all can see. I really just like that pattern. I like the way it looks. And then I put some dubbing under here as the belly. I don't know if y'all can see. Let me undo it here. I put some dubbing there, and that's just black. Oh, shoot. That's just black peacock dubbing. And then I got this hackle, this little sparkle hackle, and it definitely, definitely stands out. That is for sure. There's no doubt about that. Um, but I don't know. I kind of liked it. I was just trying something new. That's, you know, that's what fly fishing is about and fly, or that's what fly tying is about. Is just trying new patterns. You don't have to do what everyone else does. You can make up your own thing. Um, and so then this one, this one's really subtle. I just recently tied this one too. Rabbit zonker, like I said, I, I like that zonker action a little bit better than hackle with marabou. And then I did get a hackle though and I used that as the belly. Um, and I use, I don't know if y'all can see it very well, but uh, it just gave it like a nice little ring around it and add some extra, I think it'll add a little extra action to it, which I think is good. But then there's this bad boy. I love this bad boy. Actually, this is a really neat one with the hackle on the belly. Like I've said, I've got actually some hackle tied in there as legs, two little grizzly hackles with a, just a white rabbit zonker on the top uh, acting as like, I don't know, like as the top of the body and then some flash bow um, as well, just kind of giving a little bit more in there. And, you know, it doesn't look perfect, um, but I absolutely love it. Um, and, you know, there's not much else to say, but if you are interested in tying this fly, like I said, it is a super, super simple one. Um, so I hope you all enjoy it and you know what's most important is you just go out there and you do it and you try it um, It doesn't doesn't hurt to try it and it's a whole lot of fun and you learn a lot of stuff in the process So I hope you all enjoyed this episode another episode into the fly tying series There's just a lot of a lot of fun. I have a blast um, They don't get the best views on this channel, but I you know, I still think it's uh, quite fun to do and So maybe someone out there find this helpful um, basically comment down below if you want to see me tie some other certain bugs. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. I think I might start venturing out of the bass kind of flies. I might start trying out some more trout flies. I got a couple I've been trying or I've been tying, um, tying quite a bit and, um, I might go ahead and show, show y'all and uh, I think y'all might enjoy that as well and learn good little tips from it. Uh, some tips that I, you know, found useful, um, especially with a being a beginner like I am. So thank you once again for tuning in. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, where we do pretty much anything outdoors related, fly fishing, fishing, normal bass fishing, hunting, a whole lot of things. And then comment down below, like I said, what fly you want to be seen tie, tied and then just go ahead and give it a big thumbs up to help support the channel. And, uh, you know, it doesn't cost you anything, so why not do it? Thank you for tuning in. Real Huntsman, signing out.